Magic Johnson and Larry Bird made up one of the best rivalries we've seen on the basketball court. They were clearly the best players in their era, and they played for two rival franchises as well, the Los Angeles Lakers and the Boston Celtics. What made it special was we couldn't run fast, we couldn't jump high, but we loved to compete. Their rivalry began in college, in what was one of the most exciting college basketball games of all time. The two men squared off in the 1979 NCAA championship game. Magic would ultimately lead the Michigan Spartans to victory over Indiana State, but the exciting game made sure each man remained a top prospect for the NBA. Their careers took similar paths at times, but they were almost always at odds. Over the years, Magic and Bird's NBA teams would win plenty of championships, but they would often have to trade those wins. Hey, hey, no, all the rings are right here. What are you talking about? We got them all. The majority of them are right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. In 1980, the Lakers would win the championship, then the next year the Celtics took the prize, and then the Lakers took it back. That trend began again in 1984 and would continue to 1987. When there is a rivalry between two players, it often involves trash talk from them to one another. That was most definitely the case for Magic and Bird. In 2019, Magic has opened up on the trash talk he received from Bird when closing him out, and it's clear from the segment that Larry Bird was supremely confident in his abilities. So, you DJ coming down, right, with the ball. Oh, great DJ, that's good. <laughs> so pass it to Larry, he's in that corner. So as you pass the leg, my first job was to stop you first, right? Now I gotta go out and close Larry Bird out. So as I'm running out to Larry Bird, he's talking trash to me. I don't know why you're running out here. Who says that in the middle of the game? He said, I'm gonna wait, wait till you get one step away from me and I'm gonna shoot it right in your face. No, true story. So I got one step away, he shoots it all net, three-pointer, good. Then he turned to me and said, you did all that running for nothing. There's no doubt that Larry Bird made a reputation as an amazing trash talker during his playing days. The top NBA trash talkers of all time often talk on how elite of a trash talker was Bird. One of them is the legendary point guard Gary Payton. GP, who is well known for his trash talking abilities, called Larry Legend the coldest dude he's seen regarding trash talking. Bird used to tell me, look here, man. I'm gonna go shoot this motherfucker jump in your face right there in that cone. And it's gonna be your Christmas present. I'm gonna wrap it up and bust your head open. All that shit. He was the coldest dude I ever seen with that shit, man. Everybody be talking about these great greats. They don't be always mentioning him. He was the shit. Yeah, shit, man. He'll give it to you any way he wanted to. Any way he wanted to. Larry Bird was cold. Cold dude, man. Real cold. Larry Bird was obviously good enough to be able to talk trash to Magic Johnson, and he was able to back his talk up as well. Most people have Bird as a top 10 player ever, and it's hard to find a lot of legends that have better resumes than him. Based on the stories told about him, Larry was a player that knew how good he was and also knew how to get in an opponent's head with his trash talk. There are a lot of people who respect him for his ability to talk trash, and it's clear that Larry Bird wouldn't back down from jawing with opposing players. Tell us in the comments, how do you think Larry Bird game would have translated in today's NBA? For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Vintage Dawkins, and follow us on social media.